Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're heading up to Jerome, Jerome, Arizona. Just getting on 89A, wasn't Clarkdale cool in that Copper Museum? Oh my goodness. That is one of the most unique museums I've ever seen. With that amount of copper, all the different artifacts, everything. Be sure to check out that video. We're winding up the mountain. Sign set over 5,200 feet up here. Made it. We're going to head, actually head out to the Jerome State Park. I guess there's a really cool museum there. Going to go explore. Maybe we'll run through downtown. I've driven through here a couple times and never really stopped. This trip, we're stopping and we're going to check it out. Wow, look at the view. Let me pull in here a second. Let's get a little video right here. Not that big, is it? Cool. Let's check her out. Billion dollar copper camp. Wow. Corporate at 1899. I'm sure you heard of the ghost stories of Jerome, the cemeteries haunted. That hotel way up there, that's supposed to be really haunted. People come from all over the world just to stay in it, way up there on that hill. Pretty sure that's it. Kind of a high-end hotel, too. I think they uh, get pretty good bucks for a room. All the houses old, built right on a cliff. <laughs> and way over there, somewhere, is the state park. We'll check that out. Alright, it's cruise town. What gorgeous weather. Perfect. Guess they're having some fires up near uh, Flagstaff. That's too bad. Alright, here we go. Right there, that's the road that'll take us down to the state park. But let's go cruise town first. We'll do a big loop. That is just a straight drop off off to the left. <laughs> Oops. Town built on a mountain. Side of a mountain. Almost no driveways. I mean, the parking here is horrendous. Especially in this big old van. But boy, if these walls could talk, huh? Oh, goodness. And the amount of tourists. I mean, the tourism here is way up. Because all the spooky stuff. The ghost. Even on Facebook, that Go Jerome Ghost Town Tours, I think they call it. They do a live stream on Friday nights. You can actually go through the cemetery live on Facebook. Hotel there. I'm sure there's all kinds of places to rent, like Airbnbs and stuff. Okay, this is where it splits. I'd like to have the corner building there, huh? <laughs> I'm sure they get snow here too. Now down in here, this is where their public parking is. I'm 
I'm not going to stop in here. Let's let's go all the way around. I want to go see that state park museum. Winery. They probably got breweries here. They're getting ready to do some ghost hunting. Now, what was that? A year or so ago, I drove in from Prescott, and this is where you come in through that mountain pass there. That's a pretty ride if you've never done it. Real windy, though. Okay, let's go back through downtown here. Gives you a pretty good look. Look at the view they got. The entire Verde Valley out there. Yeah, 89A. Which actually goes all the way up to Sedona. All the way up to... Uh, Flagstaff. This is where the, the road split. We say let's go find that state park and museum. The only thing they need here is a couple of Model T's and stuff parked along the road. Huh? <laughs> but the view, oh my goodness. Through all the decades and generations, oh goodness gravy. Amount of people has seen the same view. We're seeing it right now. All right, off to the park we go. Here it is, Jerome Historic State Park. Yeah, I was talking to a lady down in uh, Clarkdale at the museum. She goes, gotta come see this museum up here. If you want the history of uh, Jerome, that's where you're gonna find it. It's an Arizona State Park. Probably mine shafts everywhere. This whole town is probably just honeycomb full of mines. Well, they've been doing it, what, over 120 years? <laughs> Imagine back in the day riding your horse through here. Cool. I think this is it right here. Here's the state park. There's a sign for it. All right, let me get parked. Not many people here. I think we're just now opening. There is a view, no matter where you're at up here. <laughs> Way down there, there's Clarkdale. It's that big copper mine down there. Tuzi Goot National Monument. Boy, that hotel really stands out up there, doesn't it? Then this building, I'm not sure, kind of looks like a hotel. Have to ask about that one. That's a lot closer to the mine now. There's the big mine. Zoom in with the phone, huh? Looks pretty modern. Huh. You can really see the architecture of those buildings, though.
What's the sign? 10 a.m. We got a few minutes left. Seven bucks to get in it. Wow, the colors on that big boulder there. Looks like a rock crusher. Look at the colors. Isn't that gorgeous? I'd like to have, have that in your front yard, huh? <laughs> Need a forklift to put it there. And looks like they got some stuff outside. Let's go on in. Okay, got a little gift shop. Seven bucks to get in. Self-guided tour. Big old map there, huh? All right, let's see what they got. Old cameras I'm in. <laughs> back in the day. There's some dishes from way back, I guess. Probably a lot of stuff donated. This building itself is pretty old. Here you go. Those are really old pictures. Kind of almost looks the same, huh? Well, they said that Clarkdale was a community for all the workers. So they worked on the mountain, went down the hill. Huh. To be back in them days, wouldn't that be cool? At least for a day. <laughs> There's a little more modern picture. You can see more of the town in that one. Wow, look at the old square piano. My goodness. That's a piece of art by itself. A little replica of a room from back in the day. Some kind of sculpture. Huh. Off an old building. Look how old that thing is. It's held together with a bolt. Look at that. They bolted it together. Huh. Cool. The Douglas family. 1870 to 1946. Lewis Douglas, James Douglas. Huh. Cool. All right, what else we got? Old display, looks like firefighters. Through the years. Pretty darn cool. Imagine fighting fires in a mine and stuff. Back in them days, there wasn't, wasn't all the safety stuff. Wow, look at that. There they are. They ain't got the names of them all. That's cool. Good memorial. Yep, 
We got a room here. Earthquake. <laughs> I don't know what, behind curtain one. <laughs> Look at that, they got their own uh, seismic meter here. Probably wouldn't want to be in a big earthquake on this mountain here, on the side of it. <laughs> Ooh. Look at those crystals. Wow. That is gorgeous. Different colors. Huh. Boy, this would be a good place to be a geologist. My goodness, the colors of that thing. Mother Nature artwork right there. Greens, purples, blues. There's supposed to be an upstairs to this place, too. Got a bunch of stuff. Kind of the history of bottles, mercantile. Guy used to run the stores. Huh. Oh, look at that carbonation unit for a soda fountain. Look at the size of that thing. Big as a pressure cooker, huh? <laughs> Go get you a real, those were real soda pops back then, huh? All about the diseases that came through here, medical building huh the last woodcutter look at that thing my goodness <laughs> now it's all chainsaws huh William Andrew Clark Well, that nice lady at the Copper Museum wasn't kidding. This this place is just full of history. You got to come here. A 3D map. Look at this, and it shows the copper veins in it. There's Jerome. And look how they show the copper in there. That is cool. Gives you a perspective, huh? American Legion. Nice. History about the Postal Service. And mining. My goodness. Well, let's go find that upstairs. All the mining claims. Woo. I'd like to own one of those. <laughs> okay, go blow them up. <laughs> Imagine all the dynamite that got you. Oh man. Machine drilling. Wow, look at the old tub. People pay a lot of money for something like that now. You can't even find that stuff. Ooh, another map. Showing uh, 
deposits, I guess they are. Huh. That's something they can figure all that stuff out. There's pictures of the tunnels going down. I'll be darn all, all the mining information. Nice view here, anyway. Wonder if there's any ghost in this building. I gotta get one of those ghost cameras. I wonder how much them things are. A little bit about railroads. They've covered quite a bit here. There's the engineering, the mining, the history of the town, the founders. The old technology they used back then. All about copper. And they're still producing it. <laughs> well, let's go back down. There's an outside area we can go check. It was gated off from where you entered, right there. Cool. Let's see what they got. Mingus Mountain View. Boy, they got that right. There's views everywhere. A view from the boom years. Oh, mining cars. Oh, I asked that guy. That building over there used to house workers. That's what that big building was up there. And there. So that people can stay in it probably. That was a, all for the miners. Housing for them. Some old buggy, Smokey Joe. Wow, look at the old cars. Pretty good shape. Dr. Douglas. Can you imagine being a doctor back in the day? <laughs> Pretty popular fellow. Yeah, and that's the entrance. That's where we came in. What a good look. Very happy I stopped here. My goodness. As far as you can see, is this nothing but history? Mining? Even a few ghosts laying around. <laughs> cool. What's the plaque say? 1964. It's been a park since then. Cool. What a town. One of these days I'll go explore the touristy stuff. Like about the ghosts in the cemetery. There's a really good look at that. Look how massive. 
that is. The amount of ore. Oh, goodness. And they're still producing. And way down there, that's that copper mine. Big smelter down there. And there's Clarkdale. Cottonwood. The whole Verde Valley. In this cool town of Jerome, right on the hill. If you're in this neck of the woods, get up here. All of it, Cottonwood, Clarkdale, Jerome. There is so much to see and do. RV friendly, there's RV parks, campgrounds all over the place. Absolutely picture perfect this time of year. Well, heading back to Quartzsite. Journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>